Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of 7th problem from exercise 8.2 from quadrilateral chapter from NCRT class 9. In this problem ABC is a triangle right angle at C. So in triangle ABC angle C is equal to 90 degrees and a line through the midpoint M of hypotenuse AB and parallel to BC intersects AC at D. So here in triangle ABC AB is a hypotenuse and if you take the midpoint of this side AB and if you draw a line through M and which is parallel to BC which this line intersects AC at D. So here MD is parallel to BC right here MD is parallel to BC. Now here we have to show that first one is D is the midpoint of AC. So we have to prove that this point D is the midpoint of AC and second one MD is perpendicular to AC. So this line MD is perpendicular to AC that means we have to prove that this angle is 90 degrees and third one we have to prove that CM is equal to MA is equal to half of AB. So if you join C and M you will get a line segment CM. So here we have to prove that CM is equal to MA is equal to half of AB. Now we have to prove that D is the midpoint of AC. So take this triangle ABC in triangle ABC M is the midpoint of AB that is given in the problem and MD is parallel to BC. This line is parallel to BC so that is also given in the problem. As per converse of midpoint theorem we know that a line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle which is parallel to another side bisects the third side. So this line bisects the AC means D is the midpoint of AC. So D is the midpoint of AC. Now we have to prove that MD is perpendicular to AC. If you observe MD is parallel to BC, this is given in the problem and AC is a transversal line. We know that if a transversal line intersects two parallel lines then the corresponding angles are equal. Here the corresponding angles are angle ADM and angle C and angle C is equal to 90 degrees that is given in the problem. So angle ADM is equal to 90 degrees because these two angles are corresponding angles. So this is 90 degrees means MD is perpendicular to AC. Now we have to prove that CM is equal to AM is equal to half of AB. So first join C and M and if you observe CM and AM are sides of these two triangles. So take these two triangles in triangle ADM and in triangle CDM. AD is equal to DC because D is the midpoint of AC we proved above and MD is perpendicular to AC so angle ADM is equal to angle CDM these two angles are equal and DM is the common side of these two triangles so DM is equal to DM so triangle ADM is congruent to triangle CDM by SAS congruence rule because side angle side of this triangle are equal to side angle side of this triangle. Once these two triangles are congruent we can equal the corresponding parts of these two triangles. So AM is equal to CM. AM is equal to CM by CPCT and we know that M is the midpoint of AB. So AM is equal to BM. So AM is equal to we can write off of AB because M is the midpoint of AB that is given in the problem. So from 1 and 2 this is uh, first equation AM is equal to CM and in the second equation AM is equal to half of AB. So from these two equations AM is equal to CM is equal to half of AB. Please do this exercise. Here are the answers.